but one of the things that we've been looking at is in pediatric epilepsy, uh, temporal lobe epilepsy can sometimes be especially deceiving. Um, you know, unlike in a lot of adult epilepsy, uh, where it looks like it's coming from the temporal, lo temporal lobe and you treat the temporal lobe, the seizures go away, um, we're, we're often fooled in, in children. And so uh, that's because there's, there's uh, extra temporal uh, sources that can uh, be participating in the epilepsy network. And so being able to use uh, virtual sensors uh, is a, uh, a trick that we can do with uh, MEG to be able to detect um, seizure activity um, in specifically wherever we want to look. So post hoc, we can point to parts of the brain on the uh, MEG after it's been acquired and say, you know, is there anything that looks like uh, epileptic uh, activity or abnormal interictal activity in this spot? Uh, and if we see hot spots outside of the temporal lobe and what otherwise looks like a temporal epilepsy, it can really help us with our evaluation to say we need to pause and use some other studies to, to try to find out if this really is a simple temporal lobe epilepsy or not. And um, that research has been um, uh, really incredible.